each Savvy Dock set comes with a Savvy Dock, a receiver kit of your choice, the base cover with four screws and a screwdriver, the L-shaped wrench, and two cable tightening screws. Installing cables into your receiver kits is very simple. The front of the receiver kit is always the flat side and the back is the part that has a slot. So for example, using your Apple factory 30 pin cable, it has a symbol on the front to tell you which is the front side. So you slide your cable in, insert your 30 pin cable into the receiver kit, making sure the front symbol is on the front side of the receiver kit. For the lightning connector, do the same thing. Slide the cable into the slot and push the lightning connector into the receiver kit. The Samsung micro USB is a bit different. This one you can use in either orientation for the micro USB. Pick your orientation and then insert it into the receiver kit and slide it all the way in. Now it also has two screw holes on either side. So use your L wrench to use this cable securing screws and screw them all the way in on both sides. And what these cable securing screws do is they sit right under the micro USB cable and they hold it in place so there's no it's a very good connection so use both one on either side now we noticed while designing that the lightning and the 30 pin cables are not all the same size so we designed something to help with that on either side there's a screw hole so if it's not such a tight fit take these cable securing screws and screw one in on either side and that will securely hold your cable and that is how you attach cables to your receiver kits. Under your dock, the wider channel is for the Samsung cable and the thinner channel is for the lightning cable. The 30 pin cable can fit into either slot. Now let's put the dock together in a few simple steps. Step one, take your receiver kit with the slot facing the back, place it into the hole just like that. Step two, take your base cover with the U-shaped cut facing backwards and put it in on top of the dock like that. Then screw it in. Step three, pull on the cable and then thread it into the appropriate channel. In this case for the lightning it's a lower cable and make sure it's pushed into the channel properly. Now this will make sure that your cable doesn't move. Step number four, Make sure that your receiver kit can move backwards and forwards. To set the dock up for a device, what you do is you make sure that you test the connector, make sure that when you push it, it stays in place. If it's still moving left to right, you just need to tighten the knots a bit more. Now, you take your device, dock it on, and you push it and the receiver kit back. What we're looking for is for the back of the device to rest flush against the non-slip pad. Now once you have that, simply remove the device, go to the back, and lock in the screws. Now when you lock in the screws, you're setting up this dock for this one device. So anytime you come back, all you have to do is lock it, and it'll be resting against the non-slip pad. So this dock is now set up for this iPhone 5C. Now I want to talk about the pads. Now the nano pads we use are very very strong. They work on any smooth surface such as wood, laminate, glass, granite, but they do not work very well on rubber, leathery, silicone, heavily textured surfaces. If you're using a wood surface where the finish comes off easily, we don't recommend that because this will pull the finish off. Now as you move the run and the pads get dirty, they're very easy to clean. Just get a damp cloth, wipe them off, and once you wipe them off, allow them to dry and they're ready for use again. So now this is the same dock we just set up for the lightning for the iPhone 5C. So let's take off the protective film. When you put the pad down, apply a little bit of pressure because it's also pressure sensitive and you see that your dock is in place, it's not going to move. Now you can dock your device and remove it with one hand easily. Remove it with one hand. 
Now to take the dock off the surface, simply twist and it comes right off. It can be positioned wherever you want to position it. Make sure that it has a full range of motion, which helps when you're setting Savvy Duck up for your device. If at first it's tight, that's okay because we have very tight tolerances. You just keep wiggling it until it moves freely. This is the supplied screwdriver that we include with the kit, but it's not a must you use this. You can use whatever tools you have that will fit the screws at the bottom, but the key is do not over tighten them and strip the screws. When you first of all get your Savvy Duck, we recommend using two hands. One hand to guide you and the other hand to dock your device. You can come in from the side or from the top, whichever way works for you. Now you might find your device leans to the left or leans to the right just a little bit, that's okay. Just straighten it out and make sure it rests on the non-slip pad. What you'll discover is your connector is held very securely by the receiver kit, so it's not going to bend to the left or to the right. Over time you'll be able to just come in with one hand and just dock efficiently. The Savvy Dock pads are very strong. If you find that it's difficult for you to remove your dock from the table, um, the protective strip that comes with it, cut a little, cut the ends off, and then make sure you leave just the two ends exposed like we have here. So what we've done here is we've taken a little middle strip of the protective film and placed it over the middle part. This reduces the amount of pad that's contacting your surface. So try this and see how much you need to get the right feel for you. If the whole pad works great for you, great. If you need to block some of it, that also works. If you find that your non-slip pad or your nano pads are not evenly applied, just take your finger over the film and apply even pressure and do the same thing to the non-slip pad. If they still don't sit well, you can reach us at info at savvydesigns.com and we'll take care of it for you. So these have been tips that will help you enjoy your dogs.